And your 50 lap Castro Lane Main is underway here at Spoon River. And the green's out 50 laps around, off into one and two. Winger, your leader, Stormy Scott up top in second. Down the back straightaway, Hudson O'Neill shoots the third. Who's going to lead lap number one? Side by side for the race lead. Winger goes a little high down in turns three and four. That opens up the door for Stormy Scott. Winger is able to pull ahead. Ashton Winger going to lead lap number one. Then all night long, we have seen the high side of turns one and two come in. That time, though, we saw a lot of guys running high down in turns three and four. Business about to pick up at the front of the field as you see Brandon Shepard quickly closing in on your second place dark car of Stormy Scott. Shep, uh-oh, Hudson O'Neill goes around over in turns three and four. He keeps on going and yeah. we stay wow. green. Wow. We'll stay green. Meanwhile, Stormy Scott and Shepard go at it for second and they're both catching your leader. Three cars going after the top spot now with 13 laps complete and the battle is getting tighter and tighter as Sheppy goes to second. Meanwhile, Shepard is starting to reel in Winger and now just a car link separate those two. A lot of guys up on the very high side of the speedway. Shep keeps rocket one, glued down to the bottom. Wheel to wheel for the race lead down the back straightaway. Ashton Winger in 89, Brandon Shepard in the one. We got a dandy here at Spoon. Brandon Shepard unable to make the pass right there, but he keeps just chipping away, man, chipping away at your race leader. Well, he gets a good run off the bottom of two through three and four. They close in on Spatola side by side for the lead. Who's going to lead lap number 22 off of turn four? You got a new leader, Brandon Shepard, to the top spot. Now Winger's got to go do his homework. How can he get back past him? Winger will go to the extreme top side down in one and two, but it's Sheppy to the point. As a matter of fact, Bobby Pierce now trying to move the 32 up into the third spot, and he's got the momentum up high. He is rim riding. Can he get a run off two to go around Stormy? Stormy misses the hold, but Bobby Pierce with a big run up top, down the back straightaway. Bobby Pierce shoots the second. Can he hold it through three and four as he starts to reel in your leader, Brandon Shepard? Yeah, and Brandon Shepard, Ben, the lap cars directly in front of your race leader, Kay Dillard and Tyler Erb are running the same exact line as your race leader. Bobby Pierce gonna throw a slider on Rich Bell. Beat B32 is on the move. Oh man, he shoved up the racetrack. So let's mark it did. down. 15 laps to go. The separation is 1.4 seconds and Sheppy's gone to the top. He's given up the bottom. Can Sheppy outrun Pierce on the top or can Pierce get there? Sheppy to the low side through three and four. Pierce up top. Last time by it was 1.4 seconds. This time at the line of separation, seven oh, tenths of a second. Here here comes Bye. Pierce. Bobby Pierce on the move in 32. Oh, one car way high down at turn four. We stay green. We stay green as Brian oh, Shirley. No, the high. caution oh, came no. out. Oh, the no. Flag went through the caution. Uh, oh, a flow go. case. All right, green flag is out. We'll see what we can do. Pierce way Whoa. up top, and he's going to give away some ground. Oh, hang on. He and Winger oh. make contact, and Winger's going to spin through turns one and two, and that will draw the caution. Oh, my. Wow. Uh-oh. Mike Marler rounds out the top five. Again, 36 down, 14 to go. Three flags out, back underway with 14 laps remaining. And Shepard's going to go to the top. Pierce down low, side by side for the lead. Shepard will drive away from him off of two down the back stretch. Bobby Pierce, though, had a pretty good run on the inside. Now here comes BP32. Back up to the top side of the racetrack as Brandon Shepard goes low. Pierce, though, gets a good run that time down the back straightaway. He's closing back in. Can he get there? Last time by was 1.1 seconds. Six to go this time at the line. Brandon Shepard, your leader. But now the lead is nine tenths of a second, so he shaves a little bit. Of oh! oh, no, Pierce almost leaves the ballpark down and turns three and one and two, and that's going to draw the caution. Oh, here in the inaugural Illinois Speed Week race at Spoon River, and we're back underway. Marler shoots up to the second position. Can he do anything as he slots up in front of Stormy Scott? Tanner English, a big restart. He'll go to third. Tanner English from 13th up to third. Mike Marler, who dropped back to almost 10th, now in second. And we'll see if anybody has anything for Brandon Shepard with five laps to go. As the white flag flies one more time around the speedway for Brandon Shepard. The 157 of Mike Marler in second, but the time is running out, my friend. Indeed it is. They head down the back straightaway for the final time. Checkered flag in the air. The winner of your Castrol Flow Racing Night in America race at Spoon River is going to be Brandon Shepard.